Well, good morning, everybody. It's Barb Katie here. I hope you're doing well today on November, November, I'm thinking of my birthday on September 26th. Uh, September is one of those months in my family where we have a lot of birthdays. And I think today I probably have been a little bit reflecting, uh, thinking about uh, family members near and dear and those who have gone on ahead of us. Um, and so my thoughts have really sort of wondered when I was thinking about what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, and I was sitting at my desk here uh, contemplating and what you're seeing is what's behind me every day when I sit down at my desk in the office. And as I was pondering, uh, I was sort of, I spun around in my chair and was looking at the bookshelf uh, behind me. And there's several things there that are really important that I take for granted. You know, they've been sitting there for a long time and sometimes you don't see what's right in front of your nose. And sometimes you need to just stop and look around and reassess. And the first thing that I paid attention to this morning when I sit down here was uh, the uh, lithograph I have of Don Quixote from the man from La Mancha. It's probably one of my very favorite plays. Uh, and I treasure it dearly. Um, the message that it conveys to me uh, is very, very powerful. And I think it is to a lot of us uh, that are familiar with it, uh, to dream the impossible dream uh, is something I think so many of us think reaching goal is almost like that. It, it's almost an impossible dream. We can't really truly grasp it. Uh, and yet we persevere. Uh, we work hard to reach for that one thing that seems almost out of reach. And we try to surround ourselves with things that will keep that dream alive, uh, no matter how difficult uh, the journey may seem at any point in time. And as I was thinking about that, I got to thinking about life in general, uh, my top's life, uh, my family, my friends, uh, et cetera. And the top shelf of my bookshelf uh, is primarily family member memories. Um, there are pictures of my sons up there. Uh, our family coat of arms is up there. There's a Toby mug uh, that my great grandmother uh, gave to me uh, that had a philodendron in it at one point in time that she had brought to the United States when uh, she uh, left her home in Wales uh, and settled here. Uh, there's a picture of my Aunt Ethel and a little uh, figure uh, that looks like my Aunt Ethel. And uh, these are people uh, that inspire my journey every day. You know, I adore my children. I think most of us uh, at any point in time in their lives have probably had um, feelings where we were frustrated with them, but uh, the love is always there, uh, no matter what, uh, with me and my guys. Uh, and I treasure all the things that we have shared through these years. Uh, my aunt was like a second mother to me. Uh, we were really blessed to have her in our home the entire time we were growing up. So I had my mother and my aunt uh, as strong female role models. Uh, my aunt was Paula, uh, which back in her day was something quite unusual. And the three little birds uh, in the picture remind me of the fact that my aunt chose to live with my mom and the three of us, my brother, sister, and I, at a time when my mom desperately needed some help in order to keep the family together, to keep the dream alive. Um, and I will always treasure what she did for all of us. The little music box up there is a gift from a friend and it, of all things, plays Country Roads. 
Can you imagine such a thing in my office, a music box that plays country roads? And then in the Toby mug, there are a bunch of smiley faces. And periodically, if I'm doing a meeting that's a little bit tense or something, I will take those with me and I will hand them out to everyone and just say to everyone, we need to remember that we are doing this with, with a happy heart and we need to keep smiling our way through it. Um, and then, you know, the bookshelf, that top shelf has some favorite old books. Uh, some of them are actually children's books. There's some Dr. Seuss books in there. Uh, there's an old, old copy of Pinocchio. Uh, just an eclectic mix of books through the years, uh, little pocket books, little sayings, quotes, whatever, uh, that cheer me up and make me smile. Uh, and then uh, the photo uh, below the Toby mug is my dear friend, Mary Ree. Uh, and that was such a happy day. Uh, Mary uh, was a regional director for TOPS. And in 2016, when uh, she uh, did IRD in Florida, she <clears throat> had an exceptional event and an exceptional personal triumph. Uh, she had uh, the top advocate in the country. She had the top coordinator in the country. And at that time, she was a regional director. She was the top regional director in the country and did a magnificent IRD. It was just a wonderful, wonderful time for Mary and I to share. And the uh, silhouette of Topsy in the background was given to me uh, by the state of North Carolina when I visited them once. Uh, and it was made by Mary's husband, Bob. Uh, so those are real treasures. And then there are other trinkets there that remind me of milestones in my Topsy journey and all the golden memories uh, that I have gathered in this journey that keep the dream alive. When I get discouraged and down in the dumps, uh, those inspire me. And then of course, uh, on the second bookshelf are pictures of our founder, Esther S. Mance. Uh, through the years is one of the pictures. And then there's a commemorative plate there that was uh, put together on Top's 50th anniversary uh, of depicting highlights uh, in the history of TOPS until the 50th anniversary. It's hard to believe that that plate came into my possession 25 years ago almost. Um, she was such a wonderful, amazing woman. And she inspired me so much. I, I am blessed uh, to have gotten to meet and to know Mrs. Nance. Uh, and to benefit from her teaching and her guidance and her example of persevering to keeping true to the dream and keeping the dream alive. And that's what all of us are doing every single time we get together as a group of members and every day when we're making that effort. One of the things Mrs. Manns enjoyed was music and um, I play piano a little bit, and she knew that, and so sometimes when we were gathered together as a group, she would ask me to play a favorite song, uh, and I played a lot of interesting songs that uh, Mrs. Mann seemed to enjoy, uh, and one of them was a song that I actually played for my senior, senior recital when I was in high school, and it's called Happy Talk. Uh, it's from... Uh, a Broadway musical, and some of you may know it, uh, but, you know, happy talk, keep talking that happy talk, and Mrs. Mance always did that. Uh, she always had a dream, and she was always, like the song says, working for that dream to come true, and keeping a positive attitude about it, and that spurred her forward. You know, she wasn't going to let anything bring her down, or spoil her positive attitude, she was going to keep going, keep moving forward, keeping see, seeking people that needed her help and support, uh, 
and gathering them together in a way that was going to benefit everybody that came in contact with each other. And I think to me, that legacy is the one that we need to make sure lives on uh, to be able to dedicate ourselves to helping each other fulfill our dreams. Uh, and as I'm looking around my office this morning, uh, everybody, uh, well, not everybody, but quite a few people have been talking about doing vision boards. And it occurred to me that actually the mementos in my office are like a vision board. Uh, they recognize six significant landmarks, significant challenges, obstacles, accomplishments uh, throughout my journey and point me in a direction that I want to go uh, in so many different ways. The uh, bouquet of flowers, of roses on that top shelf were gifts to me at various events, people encouraging me not to give up, even though the journey sometimes is hard, but to keep on going so I will, I will one day achieve this, the goal that I want for myself. And each of us has to define what that goal is. You know, dreams with action and effort will become reality if we keep believing and we keep trying. And we need to surround ourselves with all of the positive vibrations we can to keep moving. Because this is not a journey for the week. It's a difficult, hard, enduring, continuing journey. Uh, it's not a place you land and live there happily ever after. This is always going to require effort and determination and ability to live the dream. And that's what we should try for every day, to live the dream, to turn that dream into a healthier, more involved, more in caring way of embracing each other as we go through our day every day. Uh, we'll try many times and we will probably not succeed every single one of them. Uh, but if we're smart, we, and we are, uh, we will learn from every single effort we make. Uh, I'm reminded of Thomas Edison and the light bulb. He made 99 that didn't work, but the last one brightened the world forever for all of us. You know, what a legacy, what a tremendous legacy to lead in, uh, as your body of work in the world, to have persisted until you brightened the path in the darkness for everyone around you. Mrs. Mann certainly did that in her journey. So many of my top friends I have seen do the same thing. I hope that each and every one of us will dedicate ourselves to brighten the path of those that surround us and help each other find our way and turn our dreams into the wonderful, warm, enriching realities they can definitely be. Have a wonderful day. Have a great week. And remember to enjoy the journey. Talk to you later. Bye for now.